welcome back. This is my channel. Um, I'm a homeschooling mum of six. I live in New Zealand. Um, I currently have four at home. I have a couple at school and this is just how we do life. So I thought um, as we're starting the school year, coming up to in a week or so, that it would be fun for me to share you with what we're doing. Um, so I'm going to start off with um, my 11 year old. He's in year uh, six or grade five and I sh thought I'd show you what we're doing. So first of all I thought I'd show you his pile of work for the entire year. So this is just this is everything we're hoping he will cover. It's got his uh, Bible studies, his math studies, his language studies, his science, uh, geography, it's got logical thinking um, yep everything is all there. That's his giant pile of things that we're hoping to get through um, and then we will also have shared group work so I'm going to show you what we're doing. So the first thing I thought I'd show you, if you can see it right there, is um, his lessons plans for the week. So that just tells us what lesson we're up to and what he needs to do. He likes having it written in so that he can just check the box and off, off he goes. I've actually typed it up now. Um, I was trying writing it but I didn't like it so I've typed them up. Yep. So that's his timetable for the week. I'm going to go through each kind of subject and I'll just give you a flip of what we're doing with that. So we're going to start with logical thinking and um, critical thinking, sorry, and logic. So we're currently using even more. Um, this is grade four, so he will probably do two pages of this a day and then we'll move up to grade five just because um, we like to start with things that um, are fun and so this one will be a nice one he can work quickly through and then we'll go on to grade five. Um, so it has little logic puzzles, he really loves these, uh, it has questions about things that you might need to answer, presents, like who's your best friend, what would you give them as a present, um, working out whose present belongs to who, all that sort of thing. So that's his logic and he'll do that daily. We have um, social studies, so obviously we're in New Zealand and we have, uh, we're working through what's called New Zealand basics and so this is history and then halfway through the year we'll do geography but we had to, sorry the other way around, this is geography and then halfway through the year we'll look at history but we had to send our history one back because it wasn't printed properly and we haven't received our second copy so um, and he will do, he will work through this and he'll do it three times a week and work through a unit, a page a day when he does it and yeah so that just talks about all the different things that happen in New Zealand um, we love to have something of New Zealand in our curriculum um, just because that's where we're from so it's really important for us to study a bit. Um, what should we do next? Oh, science. So science is a bit different for Jaden this year so he's going to do apologia. He will start with um, chemistry and physics and this is a notebook. We have the course book as well and we have it on MP3 so he will listen to some of it, he will read some of it and I will read some of it with him and then he will go through and he'll do the various activities and um, we're hoping this will take him half a year um, and then he's going to do um, probably the human body but we may do um, in astronomy maybe but I think probably the human body so and this is his individual work we have um, group science that we work together on as well so that's science um, then for geography we are using passport, uh, it's master books and it's um, passport of the world and um, children's atlas of the world and so we start on passport of the world and he reads about Armenia and um, then we have a uh, worksheet that he'll answer so it's pretty easy we also will YouTube and Google and get some books out as well so then he answers just a few questions, the capital, and then he has an activity, and the Armenia activity is uh, that we are making grata, grata, with, uh, so that's, and usually the, the activities are a cooking thing, or a, um, a finding out some information, so that will be what he's working through, so it's quite light, but he's got a lot of heavy stuff, so we wanted to have something light for him, and so and this is what the um, children's atlas work looks like. So it's a bit more reading for him, a little bit more in depth. Um, but he will just read through those, he will look through the sheets, and um, it will be a nice light thing for him. Then we have mathematics, 
and we use a Christian Light Education Maths. These are 10 books for the whole year, and so it works out to being uh, one every three weeks. We love them, they're solid maths, they're in black and white. Um, so, for kids with sensory issues, or um, so our boy um, is neurodiverse, and so it's really good for him. It's small chunks that you repeat often. It's not a lot of colour, they follow the very same thing. There's a test in the middle, but you do it at the end of the book. Um, so he will go through this, and it's the same thing every day. So he, there's no new things to figure out. He will do um, multiplication every day. And look. So that's his maths. Um, then we do Bible study, and he will be going through these. So there's five of these instead of ten. Um, so technically... Uh, I think they say do it twice a week. We do it every day. We just finish a bit earlier and add something new in. Then we have uh, language arts. And this year we're going to use Ebeka. We haven't used Ebeka before. So we thought it, it looked like a good fit for our family. Um, we're only doing the spelling and vocab and poetry and the grammar and the writing. So, oh, and comprehension. So he's got two lots of reading comprehensions. And I think this is the older version of this, from what I can tell. But that's good, because this is only once a week, so he'll do them twice a week. So that works out well. He'll do one of each um, once a week for the year. They have, This is his spelling and vocab, and so we'll go through that. His spelling book to go with his um, spelling, so we can write his spelling words in it. Um, this is something new introducing. Um, just because a little bit of fun, and this is actually a reading record. So he will write what he's read, what chapter, um, not school related, so something after school or before bed, um, and he'll write the book or the chapter, something like that, and then he'll just write a little bit about what he liked, if he liked it or not. Um, just because we thought it would be fun to keep a record this year of, and those cool stickers and things like that, um, a record of all the books he used, and every time... They get read books. At, once you get 25, they colour in the thing and we can see how many books they've read. So that's just something fun we're going to add in. Oops, sorry. That was something fun. This is his writing grammar. So he will do his worksheets. You do. He does one front and back side, so two pages, I guess, um, daily. And then we actually have a notebook, and it's just a very plain um, notebook. It has pockets to put things in. Uh, for when he writes stories and composition and things like that, uh, just because I like to keep everything nice and tidy and all together. So that's his main things. Then the exciting things we're studying this year is literature studies, and we've done them um, as a group before. So this is the first year we're kind of doing individual literature studies for the kids. So he is doing the history of science, and we love these. These are from Beautiful Feet books. And um, so, as you can see, it has each lesson. And clearly thing uh, talked about what you do. So the first lesson says, begin the picture history of great inventions. And so this is um, this book here. And so we'll start with this book. And it says, read pages 9 to 12. And this is his science portfolio. So this is what this is. Um, write out Proverbs 1, 2 to 7. Read and discuss chapters 1, 2 of... Sorry, Archimedes and the Door of Science. So this is our first book, and he'll be reading this. So this is his first literature book, and it um, might have some harder words in it, but it's quite a nice read for him. And then um, on the same day, we have a little bit of a look at how science works, and we look at one of the pages of this. In fact, we look at two, six to seven. Um, and we're looking at meta, so looking at the way science works and so I this one's probably one I'll read to him this book because he's going to be reading this one and then he will um if there's any questions to answer or activities to do we'll do those in his um they call it a portfolio book we have just got a notebook very similar to the other one it's got a pocket and it's got a lined paper we can get um ones that you can tear off and I don't like those because if the kids pull them back and they tear then we've got extra pages so I try it just to get spiral bound ones that can stay together so that is his history of science um great books like I said we've got the um 
the picture book of great inventors, Archimedes and the Door of Science, we've got Thomas Edison, we've got Energy, this is um, an audio book on audio, um, Alexander Graham Bell, we've got Isaac Newton, Wrights Brothers and this is a lovely book. It's beautiful pictures and lots of information um, and this is we really like reading about the Wrights Brothers um, because it leads on to other discussions for our family about planes and where they came from things like that. We've got um, George Washington Carver and we've got a couple of books um, living picture books on him so we'll add those in for him to look at just as interest not for him to actually have to read but just interest topics. We've got Albert Einstein, you can see those, these are quite nice tipped books for him to read, with pictures, but they're quite um, easy to see. Ben Franklin, and I believe that's all, oh no sorry, along came Galileo, um, and we've done a little bit of study on Galileo Galileo, but um, it's always fun to revisit him, and then we have a history of science timeline, which um, will be really fun for him to look at. So that's his history of science, and then he and he will do that three days a week, and then he's going to do the history of horses for three days a week as well. So one day he will do both, and that's on the Friday when we don't do much else work. He will do both history of science and history of horses, and then the other week he just alternates days. So it's the same format. I really love the books and beautiful feet books, which is why we kind of started getting them. They're just beautiful literature. So, um, this is the same thing on lesson one. He will look at Handbook for Horses, um, which is this one here. And we're going to look at a particular breed. I think it's Appaloosa first. Um, and then uh, we start reading King of the Wind. So this will be his first book that he reads. Sorry, <laughs> can't see my face. And so this will be his first book that he reads for the horse study. is King of the Wind. And then... Um, we look at, oh, I don't have it here because he's actually taken it already called Album of Horses, which has different, um, more breeds of horses. And then we're going to look at how to draw, um, oh, it's a raven, not the Appaloosa, sorry. So we're looking at a raven and he will then be able to draw the picture and we'll draw it into his, um, notebook, which is exactly the same as the science. And all I did was photocopied, as you can see, the front page of the, um, the, teacher guide and stuck it to a book. So that is all of Jaden's work and um, yeah hopefully we get through it. So the other books for horses that he'll be reading is The Misty of Cynthia, The Black Stallion, Mustang, Wild Spirit of the West, Brighty in the Grand Canyon, Justin Morgan Had a Horse, White Stallion of Pisa and also A Black Beauty but we have that on audiobook. So he'll just be listening to that one. So that's a nice, easy one for him to be able to listen to. Um, yeah, so he's going to be reading lots of books this year. And that's his work. Um, thank you for tuning in again. Um, you can, if you want to like and subscribe, that would be great. I'm going to show you next um, video that comes out will be my youngest daughter's work. Um, and I'm going to leave my middle child that I'm currently working with um, to last because I wanted to do a little a whole video on her um, because she we uh, she got dyslexia and so I thought it'd be nice to show you what we're using to support her learning this year and um, so I hope you've had a great week and I'll look forward to catching up with you later please write any comments you'd like um, and I will link some of the book the companies that we use for our or the publications that we use for our um, school